Sunday morning in the Essen household, our friend Kev is coming over and I'm gonna cook a Sunday roast. First, it's breakfast time. Okay guys, Kevatron is almost here. As always, we stalk our guests before they arrive. Kev is here. We are here. Since he's a safe driver, he's gonna be another... Oh, he's taking... I think he's taking a wrong turn. 45 minutes or so. I phoned my grandma yesterday, got the best cooking tips from my grandma. We got a nice organic free range hen from the butcher. I'm gonna sit the onions underneath the chicken so they caramelize in the oven. And then I'm gonna create a nice gravy out of all the juices that come out of the chicken and the onions. Chopping onions. Sink a hole into it, push the garlic. Garlic kind of roasts through the chicken and it's nice. Both my grandma and my mum said to get a nice juicy chicken, you should cook it with some liquid in there, either water or with a bit of chicken stock. Make sure that you can get a really nice gravy. So I'm gonna try that out for the first time. Oh, Juniper's no. favorite person in the world. She definitely recognizes you. <laughs> First nap upstairs, so he probably is gonna cry, didn't I? Oh. He's thinking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, where am I? Is it your first time saying hi to Uncle Kev? Yes. Oh boy. He's happy and smiling. Hmm? Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's looking at the colors. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that! What? what? As big as you are! Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Kev is going to be the guy that shows you all the etiquette. You need to give him a hand. Shake his hand. <laughs> You're welcome. Big and long. Ooh. Ooh. That's your fave, isn't it? Yeah, that is my fave. Kevin, you always know to get the best things in. Oh, wow. That's a good smell. Let's have a look. Kev and Juniper have got a really special relationship because Kev used to look after her when we were working. Then she was a little puppy. She used to stay over for sleepovers. Sleepovers with Juniper. Big long walks. Family portrait. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take Uncle Kev for a walk and show him the castle. Do you wanna come with us to the castle? Let's go then, come on. Chicken is finished. Shout out to my grams and my mum for the tips. Yeah, I know, but yeah, but everybody hopes, no? You hope to be dead one day. But yeah, but I guess for me it was more closer yeah. than for you. But yeah, we also have an age difference too. Is that Harry Potter? Hi, hi, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not gonna eat my finger. Mm. Are you gonna eat my finger? You're gonna eat your own finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love okay. the man. Happy Monday, people. It is Monday late afternoon. <clears throat> I've had a very productive day back at work. Been a long three weeks of me being sick, so it's been super nice to catch up with the team and then get cracking on my big long list of things to do. We're actually, right now, taking a little break because we've got to take this dude to an osteopath appointment. So we're gonna go and get that done right now, boy, aren't we? 
going to go to the osteopath. He cries when he goes into the maxi cozy and also the same position when he's when he's in the maxi cozy when you hold him in that position or he's just in that position in general he always cries like he's in pain or discomfort he's not really a crying baby but whenever you put him in that position he cries and we, we mentioned it at the doctor uh, when he was getting his injections and they recommended that we take him to an osteopath just to get it checked that it's not something with his spine or his back so shall we go and get that done today yeah Okay, we arrived at the osteopath. We're waiting in the waiting room. He's speed walking. Beep, beep. Sleeping. That, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, stretch. And then I uh, take off the clothes myself. I feel where there is tension already. Okay. So In the evening, he when he comes out of his bath and I go and take him to put his pajamas on, he started to really cry every time we put clothes on him. Yeah, he, he does the wheels in the morning. Yeah, well, in the morning, when he gets changed. But he never used to do that. And it could just be that he's grumpy or yeah. because he's oh, sore. Actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> He can stop. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. really likes doing that. Yeah, he, he likes yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants another time. So, I'm free. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a little massage? Mm -hmm. Is that nice? has this reflex, so yeah. it's a oh, really? yeah. protecting reflex and okay. it's a, a schrik reflex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would yeah. make sense actually. Yeah. That that reflex, because that's yeah. also what he does when you hold him like that. And that's what I see when he turns. Oh, this is exactly the same behaviour that he does. Yeah, in this is the same noise he makes yeah. in the maxi cozy. I follow his movement and I stay with my hands in the same position and force. Right, on the right side, there is a little bit more uh, tension. It feels for me that it's a little bit harder. Yeah. The, the, the bone. And this can come from a tensed yeah. uh, pressure. When you're bored and breastfeeding. <laughs> Maar dit is wel, dus volgens jou, de reden waarom hij dus in die maxi cozy niet lekker... Uh, dat weet ja, dat is ook. Je zou het even verschillen moeten zien. Oké, oké. Home. We're going home. Listen, we're going home. So you better behave. <laughs> you better behave. Are you ready? Oh, one. Um, I do. Um, um, um. How nice is this place, though? I would love to have an office here. Do you know the like the name of the spot so I can check how much it is for an office here. Okay, I don't want to celebrate too fast, but look at this. Normally he's always screaming and he's happy. You're happy! You're just a happy boy! Did the lady fix you? Did she help you feel better in the maxi cozy? That's us back from the osteopath. Our intuition was right. He had like something like a ping pong ball, some sort of tension. The, the position that he was in the maxi cozy, that kind of position, what she said is that when his head is in that position, so like this, he has the, the urge to put his head back. It's like almost like a cramp and he wants to put his head back. But when he's in the maxi cozy, he can't, he's restricted. And that will be why he's like shouting and sometimes crying is because he can't push his head back. And the whole reason the tension's there in the first place is because of his short umbilical cord. Because he was short, the, the umbilical cord was too short. He was always pressed up against one side of Char's uterus and he was restricted. And then when he when he was born, he got stuck halfway like coming out um, because of the short cord. And they think it's all kind of linked to that. And so she managed to like work away at that. I'll, I'll roll the footage of that. I thought she was just feeling for something, but apparently that whole time that she was doing something there, she was working on the 
the tension. It wasn't just feeling for testing. And she said for the next few days, the pain and the tension could be worse and then it'll start to ease off. And then in five days, we got to contact her again. Always go to the doctor if you have a feeling or an intuition. We've got two cars. We've got a Scottish one and a Dutch one. It's Saturday morning. We just came to Charlotte's grandparents because we're going to surprise them with some flowers. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh. Hello. Hello. What's she making? Opa and Oma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going for a walk. Beautiful. This is where Charlotte's grandparents live, and it's so beautiful. Ja, het is hier misschien wel...